Hey everyone, is the statement, once a cheater, always a cheater, a fact? Or just something we say? That's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm Evie with Happily Even After, and I help you live your very best life even after you've been affected by infidelity, divorce, or any other tragedy or heartbreaking time in your life. I'm here to tell you there is life after the pain and the heartbreak. And it can be a good life if you choose to make it that. So the question today is, is the statement, once a cheater, always a cheater, a fact? Or is it true? Well, I have my opinion. Um, the, the fact is that if a person has cheated, there is a 350% chance that they will cheat again. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty high percentage, in my opinion. <laughs> um, while a cheater, once a cheater, always a cheater is probably not 100% a fact, there is a really, really, really high percentage that they will cheat again. From my perspective and from the people that I've worked with, it has come to be that when a person has cheated and they tried to work on it, the person ended up cheating again. So I was involved in a marriage where my, he's now my ex-husband, but my husband cheated at year seven. And I had always thought once a cheater, always a cheater, but I didn't want it to end when I caught him. I wanted to make it work. I wanted to be that person to change those statistics that he wouldn't cheat again. But he did again and again. And then when we did divorce and with the person that he left me for, he ended up cheating on her several times, several times, and finally did leave her and was with someone else. And he was never faithful to that next person that he left her for. So um, that's, that's my personal uh I guess testimony, my personal um, experience with um, with my ex husband. There are many cases out there, of course, hundreds, thousands. I hear hundreds of new cases a day. I'm in Facebook groups, and every single day, new people pop up and have found their spouse cheating and having an affair. So, if you're out there and your spouse has had an affair, I would love to hear from you. Do you believe once a cheater, always a cheater? Have you had an experience? Did you have an, a, 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 par, a partner who had an affair many, many years ago? And now he's he or she has been faithful for decades. Let me know. I'd love to, to hear from you. Um, like I said, in the past, over a year and a half, two years ago, I was of the belief that you could make anything work. If you wanted to make it work, it could, it could work. And I encouraged people to make it work. But what has happened is those people that I worked with, even though I worked with the one who was not the cheater, um, now years later, their spouse is cheating again or has cheated again. So let me hear from you. If you're out there and you have made it work, if you've been in a relationship and y'all made it work, I want to hear from you. Um, I don't recommend people staying now. I'm not going to tell somebody to leave when they're wanting to stay. But what I will say is it's going to be a long road and a hard road. And the thing that has to happen is trust. Because 
when when a the natural response when a person catches their spouse cheating their natural response and it was mine too and i did this is clamp down gain control make sure you know where they are put a tracking device on them put a tracking device on their phone give me access to all the records give me access to the email give me access give me passwords give me everything and let me just peer into your world and check you out at all times and know where you are know every move and that's going to stop you from cheating again no no I mean that's our natural response that's what we want to do we think we can control it we think we can control their cheating friends in my opinion and from what i know from personal experience cracking down on them coming down on them clamping down on them is the worst thing that you could do and it will not stop them from cheating if they are going to cheat, they are going to cheat. They'll find a way. They will, they will create new ways. Um, I've seen it. I've seen it. When I told my husband, my, my ex-husband, you can't have another cell phone. He went out and got another cell phone. They're going to find a way. If he couldn't buy it, the woman bought it. He had so many extra cell phones. But me telling him he wasn't going to have one made him want one. Me trying to control where he went and what time he did it just made him want to go do something. Friends, if your partner has cheated and you are the one that thinks you're going to make it work and you're going to stop them and you're going to fix it. I just don't think it's going to happen. Now, when I was in your situation, you couldn't tell me that you couldn't tell me. I thought, no, 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 you don't know my situation. You don't know my husband. You don't know my determination. Well, what they knew was that there's a 350% chance that my husband was going to cheat again. And he did, and he did, and he did, and he did. And he wasn't going to be stopped. The thing is, once they open that door to cheating and they get a taste of that, there, there's really no stopping them. So if you are going to stay together with your spouse after cheating, if that person is broken and sobbing and remorseful and calling, you know, the counselor and Go by going to buy books and going to set up all types of different ways for y'all to make things work. I mean, I guess there's a possibility, um, but most that's not how it most likely happens. Um, what happens is the person who has been cheated on says, "We're going to go to a counselor. We're going to read these books, and you're going to do this homework." Okay, they're not <laughs> going to a counselor is not going to help. How is going to a stranger going to make your lying, cheating spouse be just instantly honest and then confess all this private information to a stranger? And then this stranger is going to make them do what they're supposed to do. No, it's not going to happen. I have a master's degree in counseling. I do not recommend go into a counselor. It's not going to help. It's not going to make that person change. It's not. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. And so here's the thing. If you're going to stay after infidelity, after an affair, what I think needs to happen is you're just going to have to trust. You're just going to have to say, do what you want to do. If you're going to cheat, you're going to cheat. If you love me, you love me. If you're going to stay, you stay. Do what you want to do. But here I am. And if you want to make it work, make it work. Like, I know that sounds crazy. But that's going to work better, better than clamping down. Because they were already trying to find ways to get out from under your control. So you controlling them more doesn't make them love you, doesn't draw them to you, doesn't make them want to spend 
endless hours with you and the rest of their life with you. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. So if you have caught your spouse in, a, in an affair, you have decisions to make. And, um, and I, feel like, I feel like I can boil it down to what your decisions need to be. First of all, are they begging, pleading, crying, proclaiming their love for you and that they'll never do it again? 100%, like you can tell there's a different person that walked in your door professing this. And that's one thing. If they're doing that, there may be a chance. And the second thing is, um, if you're going to make it work and you're the one who's been betrayed, if you can say, I trust you, we'll make it work, we'll do whatever, and don't clamp down on them, it may can work because they're going to be going, what? Then they don't have to hide. Clamping down on them, y'all, it's the absolute worst thing. It is the absolute worst thing you can do. And I did it. I did it and I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it for years. It's like a joke. Now that I know my ex-husband and, and how he operates, it was like me taking a match and lighting it and firing up, firing it up. It just made him go do it a different way. It was a game. So contact me y'all. I'll chat with you about it. Ask me questions. I'll do videos about it. You can work with me privately. I have groups you can work with me in. I have a link down below my beacons link. You can connect with me on every form of social media. If you watch my TikToks, I have lots of short little videos about this. Um, I'd love to help you through. There is great life after infidelity. There's great life after divorce. And I was the holdout. I thought there could never be life after divorce. There could never be happiness. There could never be joy. And I could never find someone I loved as much as I love my husband. It is not true. None of that's true. None of it's true. There's a great life after divorce. I'm living my very best life. I'm a much better person now than I was before because I did need a lot of things trimmed off my personality. I did. And I got them when I was laying on the floor, broken and hurting and crushed that my whole world had fallen apart. Um, there's great life after there's really, really great life after um, and that person that you're holding on to that you think is the absolute be all and end all, he, they're not, they're not, that's just a fact. There's a, someone else out there that would suit you better, that would fit you better, that maybe have more likes and, and interests than what you had with your spouse. You're trying to make it work because it's comfortable. You're trying to make it work because it's familiar. And yes, maybe you made a vow, but friend, when he or she had an affair that vow was broken so anyway connect with me uh hit the like button follow me share this with anybody who needs to hear it and like i said if you have a question for me i'd love to answer it in another video i would love to chat with you about it you can email me connect with me in all kinds of ways and until next time have a happy day bye see you next time